we're back with some more Pillars of Eternity. Good day to you. Uh, what is the Rebel Stars? We are the finest theater group in the city. We believe that the best art is immersive and true to life. She looks at the amphitheater with rapturous expression. We stage our performance right here in Copper Lane for all the edificates for the edification of all. I suppose I can spare a moment for a fan. Does the Rebel Stars take in many new members? But of course, good drama is balm to the soul and we wish to offer a true theatrical experience to as many as possible. How long do you keep members? As long as they are able to satisfy the demands of the role. She smooths the wayward strain of hair. True acting can be a grudging process, so some last longer than others. What kind of members do you take? We'll take in the new and the old, the tall and the small, the experienced and the inexperienced, whoever is best suited to fulfill a role to the utmost. Uh, let me ask something else. Very well, I'll be happy to know any aspiring thespians, please send them my way. You always have a place for novices. Uh, what do you do? Uh, that depends entirely on the demands of the role. I'm the pallet knight, the widow of the wood, and the warrior queen. All at different times. To live a different life each day is a glorious thing indeed, my friend. Oh, goodbye. Of course. Look there. Oh, what is this? Uh, open scarab figure? Some balsicum? And um, what is this? One per rest? So is three wooden beetles? Huh. Interesting. Let's see. Ah, oh, you have this obsidian. Some three shades, so it's, it's that kind of thing. Uh, give it to you. There you go. I'm here. And we have to go in here for that. Ah, and here's the. Here's the ring as well. Hey. And here starts. Of course. Okay. Uh, no, take the point well. with you. Don't go alone. Uh, uh, we're heading up to the, the dozens. And after that, we're going to the dormitory. And we're after that, we have to check check our journal because that's as far as I can remember from time. So, in here we go with the breastplate. Let's see. It was you, right? Yes. You know how it goes with knights. Is this the armor you wanted? Orsnick's waver for a moment in disbelief. He looks at you, then back at the breastplate. He reaches for it slowly, as if expecting it to disappear before he can touch it. H how did you manage this? Panhelm listened to reason. He shakes his head. The only reason I know him to listen to is spite. But you covered it just the same. Here. He reaches into his pocket. I think you'll find it more than fair. When you get the chance, stop by Sonal's shop on the other side of the hall. She'll sell some of the best gear in the city, and she'll see it that she I'll see it that she'll open her inventory to you. What is this armor to you anyway? Two thousand copper. That's that's a decent amount. Ah, uh, nothing really. Just a keepsake. 
tries to look you in the eyes, but when he does, he appears to reconsider his sights. It commemorates the Order of Megran, highest order of valor, awarded to the dead, never the living, as the Ovidian, real the Ovidians. We don't have the ability of birthrights, unless you're some copper fucker from India. All we got is honor we bring to our family's name. The Order of Magran is... Well, they don't give it out too much. Not often you see a member of the dozens whose revolutionary ties are as good as he says they are. So this, he pauses, considering the weathered metal, a pale image of his former self, but still catching light, is something to live up to. Okay, well. Okay. Let's see. What do you have for me? Well met, friend. So the wilds haven't claimed you yet. Good to see you again. Show me where's. Ooh. And we have some coin to spend. Uh, so these are exceptional. These are just fine. Just a lot of fine items. Braces? Oh, no. Uh, let's see. Plus two might and plus one constitution. Ooh. That's that's not bad. Um, plus two resolve minus one intellect. Plus one resolve minus two constitution. Uh, Grand minor. What is this? No, uh, no. Uh, I want to know what this is. Please. Uh, the. Oh wait. No. Ah, oh, that's damage reduction. Okay. Uh, hmm. Cloak summons noble creature. Uh, grants whisper of treason. Target charm for ten seconds. Amazon will. Uh, only useful by barbarians. Then you have some potions. Uh, I think we're going for at least these braces. This wouldn't be too bad either. I take this, I, I think. Um, there you go. Take, uh, take some of this. I take. This is. I'm gonna save, save that. We can give you, give you this. Um. We do have quite a lot of money, so it should be okay. Thank you. I don't need these, because we can make those later on. Uh, so let's see. Um, you're getting the bracers, and you're getting this ring. And this is plus one constitution, so that's good for you. Uh, you're getting this hunter bow, like so. Uh, minus two dexterity. I'm gonna keep that mustache along with this. Uh, this is going to stash. This is going to stash. Stash. Um, this is also going to stash. I think. Um, uh, okay. That should be good. Thank you. Not can, sure how I feel about this. Do this right. Hope that helps. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I, do you have any assignments for us now that some of you like us? Looking I do work? have something. You don't mind stepping on the toes of the Crucible Knights. Come to think of it, the Dominels won't be too pleased either. They've never liked seeing someone with nicer things than that. Um, not ready to step on the toes of the Crucible Knights just yet. Uh, I'm not ready for this. Uh, oh well. Let's see. 
Um, got the honest reputation. Uh, we're hero in Guild Vale, ally with Chris Blue Knights, ally with dozens, troublemakers for House Domino. Faintly bad. Faintly good, faintly good, moderately good. Okay. We're gonna help out the Crucible Knights some more, I think. Is it already day? Been up all night? Huh. So let's see. You live here, right? It's gonna speed up just to get here a bit faster. Uh, go, 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 go. Uh, let's see. Um, does the person we're looking for have a name that I can't remember? Uh, Vienna. Ah, that's not Vienna. Uh, oh, it's the Ellis. Uh, excuse me. Hail traveler. I'm looking for Vienna. I like Vienna. She always talks about metal mans, which is strange, since I'm pretty sure she doesn't eat snowcap. I don't talk about metal mans either, and I do eat snowcap. Anyway, she's not here right now. Flew away with Adana's, to Adana's gift to meet her friend. Bless you. No. Clesia? No. Yes. Clesia. Clesia. Is the friend she's gone to meet in Adana's gift. In a house, not a boat. North house, empty house. Adana's gift has lots of boats. We should go rowing sometimes. Uh, farewell. Okay, so Donna's gift done. Just gonna make sure there's nothing more in Copper Lane right now. Do you know about. Uh, we need to go to the sewers. Uh, she's in Donna's gift. Audra's gift. Um, this is the whole of Revealed Mysteries, but we have to go out of town to get on her good side. So I think that's that's all we need in here. And we're out of here. Uh Andra's gift. And then I think we're gonna visit Heritage Hill after that. Twenty four minutes. On the other side of town. Because Heritage Hill, that's where the zombies are. And we do need to investigate the zombies. Okay, hello. That's just a common room. A local Halloween port? Hmm. Refugees, Ooh, some loot. Thank you for the fruit. So let's take a look. Uh, we have a abandoned house. That's probably where she at. No, no more abandoned houses. Focus uh, house, Lane Trading Company, Ramshackle House, the Salty Masts, and a lighthouse. So let's see. This is one abandoned house. Yes. Anybody in here? Hello, addicts. Just, just a bunch of addicts, it seems. This is our place. Very good for you guys. Interesting. Oh, hello. Some coin. Thank you very much. I was at least some something interesting, if not that much. Um, you guys are probably just soul readings. Uh, D 
this is not an abandoned house if I'm not mistaken. Hello. Thank you. And some cheese. Hello. A youngish elven man squints at you in surprise. You can't just barge into someone's house like this. Who do you think you are? Who are you? The elf who lives here. Now get out. What now? He looks nosed at you. Oh, nothing. Um, there's something suspicious in you though. <gasps> Yes. I'm guessing you're not going to come. Nothing really too interesting here. Hmm. Maybe at some later dates. Maybe. Who knows? Okay. Next location. Is this a button house? Hey, you think we could get another dog? Keep this one company? Just a thought. Yeah, we do have two dogs, but I'm, I'm the only one who can have a dog. The, you're not allowed, dear. I'm sorry. Maybe one day we will have a company of dogs. It would be amazing. Camping supplies, not really what we need. Hello? Scroll of tangle fruit and some copper. And a lot of swords. That was camping supplies. Oh! The Dwayna. As you enter the room, you see several figures huddled together. They stand at the attention. Um, but not in matched gear like Crystal Knights. At the center of the group, a woman looms over another, holding a flail. She snarls at a cowering figure. You've got pages of research here. You expect me to believe this is just your scratch work? It's nothing, I, I promise, just my notes. You hear a painful smack as the woman backhands her captive. We know you were meeting with the Crucible Knights. You think they're the only ones with power in this city? They call us the dozen for a reason. Now I won't ask again. At the nudge from one of her men, the woman turns and sees you watching. Her eyes narrow. You shouldn't be here. What is going on here? She tightens a grip on a frail. Nothing you need knowing about. Oh, okay. Going straight into combat. Um, uh, you're going to raise that up here. Let's see what we have. Mercenary, mercenary, mercenary. We have some hand clubs. Oh, okay. And some more mercenaries. So we have some rogues, which we need to take care of. So you're going in here, you're going in here, you're backing up. And you're just attacking in here. Both of you focus down for now. Uh, oh. So you have some magic. Okay, so all of you are gonna focus on her. I'm gonna throw some magic in. Okay. Throw let's see, can we hit? Yes we can. So you can throw this one in, like so. Doing a bunch of damage here. And just throw this one in here. Both of you are in range now, I hope. You can throw some uh, accuracy on our guys. And you can throw a debuff on those. So much for you! Like so. Uh, one more in here. You're gonna keep on her. You're on her. And all of those are down. 
So you can throw one more of these. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, that's just so some uh, some magic missiles up there. Ah, uh, no. that should go down fairly quick. Okay, then you rush in, take her down. Okay, she's down, you go in. On him, on yes. you, focus him. And one small trick. And they're all dead! That was, that was fairly easy. Viana's face is covered in bruises, and her eyes are wide with shock and relief. I... I... I don't know who you are, but... Thank you! Thank you! Uh, Rapid hitches breathe... Ha hitching breaths punctuates her word. I... I wasn't sure they were going to kill me! She wipes a tear from her cheek, winching as her knuckles graces a bruise. What just happened here? I thought... I was coming here to meet my uh, friend from the Republic. It looks like I walked into a trap. She shakes her head. The dusters must have been watching me for a while. I've been working on a special project for the Crucible Knights. And they weren't exactly subtle about contacting me. About this project, I dealt with a rather rare branch of animancy. No offense, but I probably shouldn't get too specific without Commander Clive's permission. He commissioned it, after all. You can see the trouble a little indiscretion has gotten me into. Uh, what can you tell me about yourself? I study animancy in Isaiah. Back in the Valayan Republic, I came to the fine spade to research local advances, but instead of going to Brackenbury Center, I found a position as a scrivener at the Temple of Whale, and had access to many rare manuscripts that most animances never see. Of course, I had to keep my head down. I've been careful not to let the head librarian or my colleagues know what I'm working on. Let's get out of here. She knows on her lip. Commander Clive of the Crucible Knights is waiting on my research. Not that you haven't already done a lot for me, but Maybe you could take it to him. I kept it with me to prevent it from falling into the wrong hands, but you can see how well that worked out. She nods at Dorena's corpse. She took it from me when I arrived. She takes a deep, deep breath. Anyhow, don't wait on me. I can make my own way out of here. Okay. So, fine flail. Some bows, some daggers, shields, uh, ooh, speed, range, flexible, bonus, interesting, unique heavy armor, uh, some leather armor, some helmets, some coins, and the research. So let's see, um, this is 10 damage reduction. Plus one movement speed, plus ten deflection against range attacks. Interesting. Uh, thir thirteen crowd, eight. No, thirteen crush, eight crowd. This is fifteen PS, fifteen slash, six shock. Uh, let's see, we can enhance it up to fine. Twelve damage reduction. I think you can use this for now, at least. Hmm, looking good. Uh, let's see. We have a lot of what we need to upgrade this. And we're still some way from level 8. So I think we're gonna do that. Enhance this to fine. Can't do might yet. Uh, if we were doing anything of this, it would be corrode or something, which we don't have resources for. Okay, and um, we 
have some shields now, but none of us are really using shields except for Adair. And apart from your bow, anything, everything we have is fine or above. So that's good. And that's the end of the episode, folks. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.